A floater to Bonds, and he hits it high. He hits it deep, and it is out here. Number 73. In past history, I had, I think he was like one for seven off me or something. So it wasn't like he just totally owned me. But uh, honestly, by the time he got to second base, I was already wondering how many uh, cell phone calls or texts I was going to have. And it was, it was cool. It was, it was, you know, definitely uh, part of history. He throws batting practice to our team. And uh, <laughs> when someone gets a hold of one, we always just yell, Barry. And, like, and he'll just kind of give us a dirty look. And... <laughs> Put his head down, but uh, I automatically think of the home run. I think of Barry Bonds. Back here on the Bulldog Insider, Dennis Springer has a good sense of humor about the fact he's the answer to that trivia question: Who gave up Barry Bonds' record-setting 73rd home run on October 7, 2001? Julia Lopez joins us now. I'm not going to ask you where you were on October 7th because I don't remember where I was <laughs> in 2001. She talked to both Dennis and Will Springer this week. That is one Bulldog baseball family. In a lot of ways. Definitely. And I was probably somewhere in Albuquerque, my hometown. <laughs> but Hanford has a player that was born and raised around the game of baseball. His dad played close to a decade in the bigs, but he's also ready to make a name for himself. Sierra Pacific senior Will Springer is the son of Dennis Springer, who played eight years in the bigs and is currently Will's high school pitching coach. My dad's calling the pitches. I'm trusting in what he's doing, so I'm just I'm just throwing what he's calling and we're working on the same page. Dennis has been around the block. He's you know, he's got some great stories. Um, he's got things these a lot of knowledge that uh, these kids can feed off of. Dennis has done a great job for our program. Dennis was known for his knuckleball, but that unique pitch didn't get passed down. Well, let's take a look at this one here. Oh, he got the floater. I remember being in the front yard. We we would pitch in the street and he would sit down on a bucket and he would try to teach me the knuckleball, but it never worked out. I'd always overthrow and hit the neighbor's house or bounce it and hit him in the shin, and we'd have to take a five-minute break. Well, he throws a lot harder than I ever did. So I, I think that um, the first couple of years, even in high school, he was throwing the knuckleball as kind of his third pitch. But it wasn't a true knuckleball. It was more like a, like a split finger. Uh, pitch. So instead of the knuckleball, he relies on his cutter and fastball, and he's been dominant for the Golden Bears. Last year, Will didn't allow a single earned run in 50 and two thirds innings. He's a four year varsity starter and has a career ERA of 1.28. One thing I can tell you about Will Springer is, you know, he's been one of the best players to come through, you know, hampered, and he's never asked me to chase a record. He's never asked me to come out there and chase a strikeout record. He knows every decision we make as a, as a coach and as a program is for the better of the team. That selflessness helped Will make school history. He became the first athlete at Sierra Pacific to sign a Division I scholarship. He'll be playing at Fresno State next year, a school that runs deep in his family. Uh, it's definitely special for me and my family because um, my grandpa played football there as well as my great grandpa and my dad played baseball. So. Um, Bulldog, the Bulldog Red is in our blood. Going to the alumni games, just being in the dugout, being around the other guys, making fun of the current Fresno State team. Um, I mean, I don't know how many games I went to, but um, I definitely went there a lot. You know, we're really proud of his decision to go to Fresno State. And we've, we've been Bulldogs, and we're going to continue to be Bulldogs. But Will might have to wait to contribute on the field for the Diamond Dogs next year. He was diagnosed with a grade 2 sprain in his right elbow, which is a partial tear and could require surgery. Could have been a complete tear, but um, I mean, we're trying to stay positive. I mean, there's still a chance I could play next year, so we just have to be mindful and keep a positive mindset. I like uh, Coach Batesville's approach at that. You know, he assured us not to worry through this injury. Uh, the scholarship's there, and, and the number one thing is he's concerned about Will as a, you know, his health and it, as a person. Uh, but he's, you know, his education. He says he will get an education at Fresno State. He will get a, de a degree. And while the Springers are staying positive through the process, Will is still very much looking forward to attending his dream school next year. A lot of my friends ask me, if you could have gone anywhere in the country to play college baseball, where have you gone? And I always said Fresno State because my family is around here and just being close to family is a big thing for me. 
I love that. So I asked Will who his favorite Fresno State baseball player is, and he said Danny Muno because they wore the same number, number 16. <laughs> Muno was a freshman on that 2008 team that won the national championship. Great player in Fresno State history. That picture, by the way, of Will Springer, that was Justin Wilson, right? Yeah, right in the middle. So that was fantastic to see that. Uh, Out of our, our archives, we didn't even expect to see that, but. That's why we save everything. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much, Julia.